Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and in the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which in case you haven't watched is on our channel right now, I asked you guys if you want the unboxing of the S8 as well and a lot of you asked for it. So here we have it. Today we're going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S8 and taking a closer look at both the S8 and the S8 Plus. So let's get started. So Samsung Galaxy S8 is the cheaper between the S8 and the S8 Plus. It also has a smaller screen and a lesser size in terms of the battery. But the price of the phone is 57,900 rupees, which also saves you about 7,000 rupees on your pocket. And the packaging is quite identical to the S8 Plus. So if you've already watched me unbox the phone, uh, the experience is quite identical. You also have the Indian SIM warning. So you'll have to use the phone with an Indian SIM card for about five minutes before you decide to travel outside with it. Now, once I cut through, the first thing inside the box is the phone itself. You also get a SIM ejector tool along with a bunch of documentation and SAR information. You also get an adaptive fast charging USB wall charger along with a USB type C cable. The phone also has a USB type C OTG adapter along with a USB type C to micro USB adapter inside the box. Samsung has also included AKG in ear style earphones along with additional ear tips. The cable on these earphones is braided. The quality of the earphones is pretty good. And you also get inline controls along with a microphone and a push button for attending and making phone calls. So over at the front at the top, you have an eight megapixel sensor, which is an F 1.7 sensor. It does have autofocus and will capture 1440 pixel video at 30 frames per second. You also have an iris scanner along with a bunch of other sensors and the main earpiece. Below that, you will get the main display, which is a 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a 2690 pixel by 1440 pixel resolution, giving it a total of 570 pixels per inch. Now, with the same resolution in comparison to the 6.2 inch display found on the S8 Plus, the 570 pixels per inch pixel density is considerably high and will make the display of the phone pop a little bit better than the S8 Plus, although it may not be evident to the human eye. Now, Samsung is calling these new displays the infinity display because you get a more bezel-less design, edges on both sides and no chin and no forehead on the phone, making these phones look futuristic and extremely premium. Now, right off the bat, we did notice a red tint on the S8 in comparison to the S8 Plus, but it's easily fixable by jumping into the color correction in the display settings on the phone. Samsung is said to be rolling out an update to calibrate the displays of the S8 and the S8 Plus is affected by this red tint issue. But bear in mind that our unit is a pre-release unit and by the time the phone does go on sale in India, the red tint issue should be fixed. For protection, the front does have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and at the bottom you get on-screen keys because there is literally no chin on the phone. At the bottom of the device, you do get the main microphone, the main speakerphone, a USB type C port along with a 3.5 mm headphone jack, which a lot of people appreciate. Over at the right is where the main power button is. You can see the glass molding into the center of the frame from both sides, making the design of the phone exceptionally good to look at. At the top, you have a hybrid dual SIM tray, so you can put two SIM cards or one SIM card and one micro SD card. The SD card can be up to 256 gigabyte. Over the left, you get volume buttons along with a dedicated Bixby button, which can no longer be remapped because Samsung just pushed out an update blocking this feature in its entirety. Now over at the back is a 12 megapixel F 1.7 sensor with a 26 mm lens. You do get face detect autofocus along with optical image stabilization and a one over 2.5 inch sensor. You also get a 1.4 micron pixel size. You get 4K video recording capabilities. Essentially, it's the same sensor with a little bit of improvements from the S7 and the S7 Edge. One of the best cameras of 2016 is still in that race for one of the best cameras of 2017, but a lot more phones are yet to be launched. Now, running everything on the inside for the Indian variant is the Exynos 8895 octa-core chipset. It does have a 4 into 2.3 gigahertz along with a 4 into 1.7 gigahertz CPU setup along with the Mali G71 MP20 GPU. As a similarity, you also get 64 gigabyte of storage along with four gigabyte of RAM. Now the S8 has a considerably smaller 3000 milliamp hour battery, but it does support adaptive fast charge from Samsung's inbuilt charger and wireless chargers. 
which is great and it works really fast. Just like the S8 Plus, the fingerprint scanner is mounted on the back of the phone, but luckily enough, Samsung has included a bunch of unlocking options that will make you not use the fingerprint scanner that much. Although if you do hold your phone with your left hand, you'll find yourself using the fingerprint scanner quite easily. But if you're the kind of person who likes to hold the phone in their right hand, you may not find yourself very keen on using the fingerprint scanner. Now, in a comparison to the 5.8 inch Samsung Galaxy S8 and the 6.2 inch S8 Plus, the S8 is definitely a better size to hold and carry around with you in day-to-day -day use. The larger screen on the 6.2 inch does look great and if you're holding the phone while watching a video for some time, it may start to cramp up your thumb because of it being top heavy on one side while holding the phone with one hand. Because of the lack of bezel space, it makes the phone a little tedious to hold, especially if you're holding the phone in landscape and may cause some issues over a long period of time. But for now, the display looks gorgeous and because of the great viewing angles and vividness of the display indoors as well as outdoors, the S8 and the S8 Plus seem to be right there in terms of design and as far as the display is concerned, one of the best available in the market today. Now, Samsung has made a bunch of changes to the operating system, which looks great on the phone as well as to use. Some people do not appreciate the design change, but personally, I find that the change in the home button layout, allowing you to put the back button on the left, makes the usage of the phone definitely better. I also like the customization touches that Samsung has put onto Android 7, uh, making the user interface quite smooth and snappy. But like a lot of reviewers have already said, Samsung's phones do tend to slow down over a period of time. So we'll just have to wait and see what the resultant on this turns out to be. As far as Bixby is concerned, you can double click the button to go into Bixby. You do get a whole lot of general cards that allow you to look at certain information in and around you. And then they start to populate once you start using the phone. There is no voice command on Bixby available, which will be launched later this year. And uh, like I said earlier, you can't remap that button for now at least because Samsung has blocked it. As far as tech on the phone is concerned, apart from the gorgeous display and the latest Exynos chipset, Samsung is also packing Bluetooth 5.0, the first phone to have that, and a lot of accessories and an ability to hold on to two Bluetooth speakers simultaneously is available on the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is absolutely fantastic. Now the camera capabilities is something that we're gonna be checking out in a special video. And because a lot of you guys have requested it, we will be doing a iGAN style, new style review for both the S8 and the S8 Plus. I also have some interesting facts about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus that I will be sharing with you in a coming video. I hope you guys like this unboxing and quick look also a little bit more into the details of the phone. One thing I did forget to mention is that both the phones are still IP68 water resistant, which means that you can dunk them in water for about 30 minutes without any issues. On paper, they are rated for about 1.5 meters of depth for about 30 minutes, but tests have shown that the phones can survive much longer. The back also has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with the design and the overall look of the display. These are one of the best looking and the best built phones of 2017. So stay tuned for our full review. If you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. This has been Bharat Nagpal. If you are interested in an iGAN t-shirt, you can hit the link in the description below to get yourself one of those. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more such videos from iGAN. This has been Bharat Nagpal. I'll see you guys in the next one.